And what they're doing is something flew over here that scared them. It's a large uh, predator type bird will fly over like a vulture or a hawk. It scares them. And so they send up that alarm to warn each other that there's something close by. That's the only sound these guys make. These yet are, they stay up top. Pardon? Yet they stay up top. Well, they got They want to stay up and see. They're looking. They're huh. looking. If, if something flew by again, very possibly they'd hit the ground. But they're st up there to, to look to see if there's anything uh, happening. So these uh, live in larger groups, as you can see, not just in the, in the pair bond like the other lemurs we saw. These are ringtail lemurs, and they can live in groups up to 20 at a time. And again, the girl is the boss. She runs the show here. Now, they're great leapers. They love to jump. They can jump back and forth from these branches without even uh, thinking about it. But they won't come out here. Why won't they come out here if they can leap? Why don't they just leap out here? The moat. That's right. They hate water. They can swim, but they absolutely hate water. So as a result, they won't, they won't make that effort. Now, if the trees grew close enough, they, they would definitely go for it. The trees are close enough. Oh, you got to jump. They're great jumpers. And they love to sit out here with the sun when it's cold. And they come out in the morning and they lay in the sun and toast their bellies and toast their knees. They live in this little tree stump over here. There's three apartments in there. And there's actually heat in there, so if it's really cold, they can go in and get warm. So that's their, that's their home. Again, they're frugivores. They eat only fruit. And again, they have thumbs on their hands and thumbs on their feet. These are some of my favorites. I think they're so darn cute. Those long tails, that not only do they use them for balance, you, um, but they live in tall grass so they can find can. each other by walking in the tall grass. So that's the way they find it. He's going to demonstrate for us right now. Look at that. Thank you very much. What's this? Now, he's sticking his head out there. That's probably the mom because the dad would be out here. This, uh, in this igloo, there's a, a black neck swan. Huh? And uh, she's just had babies. So she's Aww. in there protecting her babies. So we're hoping to see him out here soon, but we haven't seen him yet. Just brand new, about four days old. And usually he's out here, the husband's usually out patrolling and giving us major grief, but I don't <laughs> see him at the moment. He can be very aggressive. All righty, let's go get on the truck.